Hey YouTube, ManPants here with another Dark Souls 2 video. This time I'm going to be showing you how to get human effigies quick and easy. Now, to do this right, you need to have at least unlocked the Shrine of Winter because the Sweet Shall Acquire does not give you infinite prism stones until that point. Before that, she'll only sell you 10. Once you can, you can grab uh, as many as you can afford from her and then head back over to things betwixt. Climb up to Dinah and Tillo's nest and you can drop these prism stones one at a time uh, to get a random item. Items include Soul of a Lost Undead, Soul of a Proud Knight, Titanite Shard, Titanite Chunk, Twinkling Titanite, Titanite Slab, Petrified Dragon Bolt, Bolt Stone, Magic Stone, Fire Drake Stone, Poison Stone, Bleed Stone, Dark Knight Stone, Raw Stone, Fate Stone, Old Mundane Stone, Life Gem, Crimson Water, Divine Blessing, Amber Herb, Human Effigy, Cracked Red Eye Orb, Cracked Blue Eye Orb, Old Whip, White Ring, Demon's Great Hammer, Chandler's Trident. That's all that they're supposed to drop according to the guide, but as you'll see here, she'll uh, should also drop Fading Souls, which don't seem to be on this list. The major downside to this uh, tactic of getting human effigies, as you'll see here in a little bit, is you have to drop these items one at a time. If you drop any more, they refuse and you can just pick your item back up. So one at a time would be a one for one trade for a human effigy for 300 some odd souls. At the same time, I believe this is the only way to obtain the Demon's Great Hammer and the Chandler's Trident as well as the White Ring. Uh, a lot of the other things on this list can be obtained through other means. Anyway, that's all for now guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.